These are samples of the new dollar coin. Gold-colored, 11-sided, and only slightly heavier and bigger than a quarter. When the actual coin is issued in January, it will bear the familiar Voyager imprint, already found on Canadian nickel and silver dollars. By 1989, dollar bills will be slowly withdrawn from circulation. Dollar coins will replace the bills that are now stuffed into fare boxes, reduce the number of quarters we have to carry around, and save Canadian transit authorities $2 million annually in handling and processing all the wrinkled bills they get. Some consumers are worried the coins will mean too much change in their pockets. It's going to be heavier for one thing. But this expert says it will have the opposite effect. We have to carry around more and more 25 cent pieces and in order to reduce the number of small coins we need a bigger one for the use in these machines. This manufacturer and assembler of coin handling devices used in vending machines expects to make money from the introduction of the dollar coin. Already some vending machines have been refitted to accept the new coin. People have already started to anticipate the introduction of the new one dollar coin and therefore they've already started purchasing new coin handling devices to handle the one dollar coin. But for consumers, the dollar coin could be inflationary. There are fears vendors might push up the price of a can of pop, for example, to one dollar, simply because there's a dollar coin around. Dollar but the government coin. disagrees. Uh, we are persuaded there will not be any inflationary uh, uh, effect as a result of uh, the new coin. We think the marketplace will dictate and solely market uh, decisions will uh, affect the price of goods. In 1979, the United States issued a dollar coin that was rejected by the American public. But that was seven years ago. Since then, inflation has meant a dollar is worth a lot less. Its buying power has become more and more like loose change. And that's one reason why the new Canadian dollar coin just might be accepted by the public. Der Hoyen, CBC News, Toronto.